Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. I wanted to make a quick video for our Nomad owners who are also using Fusion 360. One of the biggest convenience features of the Nomad is its automatic tool length probing cycle, which lets you run multi-tool programs from a single file. G-code posted from Carbide Create includes the necessary commands to prompt the user to change tools when the time comes, and then automatically measure and compensate for that new tool's length. But in Fusion, if your tool library isn't set up properly, Carbide Motion will skip over tool changes, usually resulting in the machine crashing because it thought a different diameter end mill was installed. So here's what's going on. Prior to any operation, there's a line of G-code that tells the machine what tool should be loaded. M6, T, whatever. In an industrial machine, that would trigger the automatic tool changer to load up the tool number identified after the T prefix. In a machine like the Nomad where tool changes are manual, that's the cue for the program to pause while you load up a new tool in the spindle. If Carbide Motion comes across a different tool number than what it started with, it'll pause to let you change to the required tool. If all your tools in the program are numbered the same, however, Carbide Motion thinks there's no need to pause. It assumes it already has the tool it needs and will keep going. Carbide Create by default assigns every tool in its library a unique number, so exporting multiple toolpaths in one G-code file will trigger the necessary pauses when a new tool is required. If you create your own tool library in Fusion 360, or are pulling from a pool of generic cutters, all your tools will likely be labeled Tool 1, and thus Carbide Motion will not know to stop for a tool change. So when you set up a project and start applying different toolpaths, you need to make sure that the tools in your project file have different numbers. It's as simple as right-clicking a tool, going to Edit, then the Post Processor tab, and entering in a number for the tool. Sometimes I like to number them sequentially based on my order of operations, but as long as they're unique, it'll trigger a tool change prompt. So in that regard, you might just want to use an Endmills product identifier as the tool number like how Carbide Create handles it. If you want to go down that route, we've got a Fusion tool library file that you can download and use with the tool numbers already set up. You can find it at the link in the description below. Note that the feeds and speeds in the file are pretty generic, assuming a 10,000 RPM and 1,000 per tooth chip load, you'll have to tailor your feeds and speeds for the material you're cutting in any given project. So there you go, the only thing you need to do to get the Nomad to handle tool changes with G-code exported from Fusion 360 is include unique tool numbers. Hope this helps anyone who's been wondering how that works, good luck and have fun machining folks.